The Prime Minister has confirmed Australia will recognise West Jerusalem as Israel's capital in spite of a threatened backlash from Arab states. But Scott Morrison has also thrown support behind a Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital. Described by John Howard as the problem solver, Scott Morrison announces his plan to try resolving the crisis in the Middle East. West Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. The Prime Minister declaring his support for Israel after criticising the UN General Assembly of bullying the Jewish state. A refuge from persecution and genocide is somehow now the centre of cruelty in the world. It's ridiculous. It's intellectual fraud. As for plans to move Australia's embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, for now it will hold off, instead opting to establish a trade and defence office in the city while looking for a suitable site for the embassy. We look forward to moving our embassy to West Jerusalem when practical. Scott Morrison also acknowledging aspirations for a future Palestinian state with its capital in East Jerusalem. It's unfortunately that Australia put itself in this position uh, because of very narrow political gains uh, after the Wentworth elections. The move has been slammed by Labor as a humiliating backdown. Mr Morrison put his political interest ahead of our national interest. Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister Penny Wong saying the new stance could put our international relationships at risk. This is Scott Morrison trying to dig himself out of a hole of his own making. The Palestinian delegation in Australia is warning Arab states could cut diplomatic ties. It could also lead to economic boycotts and even violent protests. This is a very sensitive issue and because of that it could. Estelle Grapink, 7 News.